What's up everyone? Welcome back to another vlog or if you're new, welcome. So in today's video, we are combining two things, loungewear, my new favorite loungewear company, and then also home decor, home haul. I went to Ikea. I wanna place you down because I have to talk to you guys about this. Everything is packed up in my house. Everything is packed up. We have nothing. So normally I just grab like an object and place you on it, but we have no objects here. Okay, so I quickly wanna talk about one of my new favorite loungewear companies, which they're actually sponsoring this portion of today's video. I placed my own orders on their website and I love them. And then they reached out to me to collaborate and I was like, Obviously, I'm your number one fan. And that is Nap Loungewear. I made my best friend order from them. I ordered, um, you'll actually see the sets that I ordered. They're delicious. They are a luxury loungewear brand that really focuses on making beautiful loungewear that make women feel amazing and look amazing. So they're a high grade loungewear brand that's inspired by classic tailoring, but from a feminine perspective. They're extremely comfortable, don't get me wrong, but they make you look good and you could definitely style them up and you could definitely make them look extremely elevated. Their clothes are so simple and so elegant and so beautiful and you can definitely feel the quality of their pieces there's so many amazing pieces on their website i'm going to show you guys a few of my current favorites i have been living in their loungewear sets they're just like really delicious amazing sets and if you wanted to you can wear them around your house they're super comfortable but they're also so cute to dress up with cute pair of shoes and wear them you know out and about they're even nice enough that you could even throw it on with a pair of booties so i do have a code for you guys they're nice enough to give you guys a code so now let's get into the little haul. I'll talk about the pieces more and the ones that I'm loving and sizing and all that fun stuff. Okay, so this is my favorite set from the whole haul. It is a super soft cashmere loungewear set. And as you can see, it's super flowy, but still looks super put together. I feel so good. I feel like this is what bougie housewives wear. <laughs> I just feel so good um, wearing it. And it is so cute to throw on with a pair of slides as I did here. And the crossbody bag when you're just going out. So you could throw it on like that. How cute is this outfit when you are running out the door okay and here is the beautiful taupey nudie beige color this is definitely more of like a grayish you can literally roll out of bed in these and still look like you have the cutest outfit on i love wearing it as a set but you could also switch it up so you can wear this top with a pair of jeans it's very versatile in the summertime you could wear these pants with like a tank top or a bodysuit and get a really cute look can't tell me that this isn't the most adorable little set for the summertime i'm definitely bringing this on vacation with me and this top would even look amazing with a pair of jeans the material is so silky i do need to steam these it's just so soft and so flattering and the color of course like it's delicious you guys know me you know how much i love nudie beiges so this is like my dream little set this is the top paired with some jeans these are just a goldie jeans they're my favorite so you could bring this like if you were going on vacation or something you could bring this set and then get two outfits out of this one top i think i really just came across the best slip dress in the entire world so this color is delicious first of all like look how beautiful this color is and then the fit is just so flattering so it has this beautiful neckline in the back you could tie it to make it as tight or as loose as you want make it fit you perfectly okay and then i want to show you guys this jacket so as you guys know i love my long coats i feel like they just make you look so put together so like you have your whole life together you could be wearing pajamas underneath no one would know so this is the black one they have a few colors i wanted a black one because it's the one i wear most and this one is very flowy pretty oversized this is like my go-to outfit when i don't know what i'm gonna wear for the day just a little black top some leggings and then i threw it on with these Prada shoes and you can't go wrong with a simple good quality black coat. I do want to mention that they also have home stuff for your bedroom. I haven't tried any of that yet. I've just tried their loungewear and their pajamas and everything is just so cute. So thank you once again Nap Loungewear for sponsoring this video. I know they're a little bit pricey but they're definitely something I would recommend um, investing in because they're such high quality they will last you forever and they are so versatile so you can wear them all the I, time. Oof, I'm going to get a facial today. So I have the most basic outfit on. Leggings from Maritzia. 
This top from Maritzia, yeah, it's just a black long sleeve top. This long puffer jacket is from Misguided, a Nike hat, and these are H&M sneakers. The before our facials, and we got two different toasts and iced coffee. This is a diamond tip, so that's what gives it the gritty feeling, and then it's gonna kind of vacuum suction your skin. like a really intense exfoliation kind of? Yeah, it's what we're doing instead of the peel. Peels and microderm are both great exfoliators. This is just a different way of doing it. So I like to switch it up. It's nice. A lot of people like that they're actually feeling yeah. um, the exfoliation happening. You can literally see it. Yeah. So basically just going Like over. the skin looks so plump. Yes, and after this, your skin just takes in all the products so well. So what does the microcurrent do? It's basically exercising your facial muscles, um, firming, toning, and sculpting. So you'll see the movements I'm gonna do with it are gonna go along the jawline, the cheekbone, and raising the eyebrows and the forehead. It's releasing little microcurrents um, onto the muscles. We're going to do the red light today. The red light is going to be more collagen boosting. So? I feel amazing. I feel like I took a five hour nap. Oh, so nice. Wow. Okay, so I just got home. Driving home from the city is always such a headache, especially during rush hour. I did not plan that well. But my skin feels so nice and soft and it's so smooth. I think it was honestly the microderm abrasion that really did it. I swear, ever since I started getting facials with her in the summer and using their skincare line, I also love Biosauce, that's the cleanser I use, and their lactic acid. Those products have changed my skin. I bought another product, I'll show you, but how cute is this tote bag that they gave me? The writing is in like a beautiful green color and then with the matching, green hat such a beautiful green and then i bought another cream this is the coconut age corrective moisturizer with a natural retinol for normal to dry skin types it has coconut oil she used this on me today and it left my skin feeling so hydrated and amazing and i bought their mango um moisturizer which is like a gel cream which i don't love i prefer like a thicker cream so i picked this one up oh i wanted to show you guys where is it Oh, here. Okay, so I got um, these spice jars for my, like, spices because I, I want to have, like, my goal is to have, like, a really organized pantry and really organized spices. We'll see how long that lasts because knowing me, it's not going to last very long. But I ordered these little jars from Amazon, labels like this that you put on the jar. I saw it on Pinterest or Amazon or, I don't know, somewhere I saw it, and it just looks so cute. So I got all of them i don't even know what some of these spices are i've never heard of them okay so right now i think i'm gonna start editing a video and then i'm gonna go have dinner with my mom my poor mom with her broken ankle i'm gonna bring her dinner and have dinner with her and tomorrow is my house inspection hopefully everything goes well and then hopefully i will get the keys on friday it honestly doesn't feel real like i know they said my house was going to be ready in february but i just honestly didn't believe them and now my inspection is tomorrow it it doesn't feel real like when i get the keys to this house i'm going to i think i'm just gonna sob i think i'm just gonna cry and I, i'm not a crier but i think i'm just gonna be like is this real life like i ne what okay so it is inspection day i'm so excited don't mind how i look i have to go run and wash my hair i'm just making a coffee the inspection is at one the one with the company and then my private inspection or both today okay so it sounds bad to say but during this process and if you are buying a house or doing anything as like a young especially a young woman a young person in general but especially especially a young woman uh people don't 
seem to take you very seriously. And what's even more shocking to me is that when I tell them that it's my house, like so for example, the electrician, or I remember I was at a, a lighting store, their first question is always, will your husband be joining us? Like I understand when you're buying a house, it's, it's, it's okay for you maybe to assume that you're buying it with a partner, but they didn't even ask. It's not like, oh, are you buying this with your husband? No, will your husband be joining us? I'm not talking about the people who are like, oh, are you buying this alone? Are you buying this with someone? It's just straight out, is your husband joining us? The electrician on the house, when he called, there's a little bit of a language barrier. I can get by in French, but because there's also like a terminology barrier, it was really hard for me to understand what he was saying in French. Honestly, this is the first time in my life I've ever encountered someone living in Quebec for 25 years that they don't, we can't, there's just such a language barrier because I can get by, but he knew no English. And so instead he says, well, can you just put your husband on the phone? That's bold of you to assume that I have a husband, but I'm trying to think, do you think that if a man was buying a house by themselves and going to these meetings by themselves, that they would just assume and ask for the wife? Like, I really don't think so. So we are on our way to the inspection. I never thought this day would come. I, it still doesn't feel real. I, I have enlisted the help of my aunt to come and help me because she just built a house and I just feel like it would be better. Like I was saying this morning, I don't think people take me seriously. So I enlisted the help of my aunt to come. My mom was supposed to come, but she broke her ankle. It's not funny, but she <laughs> broke her ankle. And my dad's at work. So I enlisted the help of my aunt and sweet Nicole over here. Um, and I'm really excited to see how things go. And a lot of you guys gave me a lot of advice on YouTube and Instagram, which I really appreciate. And just to basically make sure everything gets done and don't be, don't feel like you're being like too picky. Like point everything out. Okay, so I'm getting ready to go to bed and I wanted, I can't believe I haven't shared this with you guys. So I wanna show you guys my face tanning routine because it's game changer. I've been doing this for like five months now. Just slipped my mind. Like, why haven't I told you guys? I used to use the Isle of Paradise tanner and then it gave me an insane allergic reaction. And my skin, I got hives all over my face and ever since, don't mind this like red, I was pegging my face. I got this like insane allergic reaction. And ever since then, I've been too scared to use it because it was so itchy. I take this from Bali Body. It's the Light Zero Transfer Clear Self Tanning Mousse. Sometimes I use this all over my body, but honestly, most of the time, this is really just used on my face. And then you need a little brush. This one is just from Charlotte Tilbury. Honestly, I preferred the one I used from Real Techniques, but I somehow lost that one in Florida. So all I do is I literally pump a little bit and I put it wherever I would put my cream contour or my bronzer. When I apply this the next day, I really just don't feel like I need any makeup, maybe a little bit of concealer. And the, this color, you can't even tell you have fake tanner on, but you just wake up feeling like bronzed and beautiful and especially applying it where you would apply your bronzer it like chisels your face and it's just the best tip i obviously probably saw this on tiktok or actually i think i saw someone talk about this on youtube oh i also already put all of my skincare on so i put my summer fridays oil i put my eminence night treatment which i'm obsessed with um, and then I kind of just rub it. I don't put any under my eyes or around my mouth because that's where I find it kind of clings onto. And then I kind of just blend it in like that. And then I'll do the same thing for the other side. I feel like you could even probably do this with a bigger brush and maybe it'll go a little bit faster. Then I'll just, you know, whatever's left on my brush, I'll kind of put it into my crease where my eye shadow would go and then down the sides of my nose um, and then around my mouth. But I really don't go in the center. I kind of leave that as a highlight. The best tanner though is the Bella Mianta. I go on like tanning kicks because I'll use a tanner until it betrays me. 
So that's normally after like two or three uses, then it betrays me and I move on to something else. But the Bella Mianta liquid tanning liquid, this stuff is, um, there's some sort of sorcery in it. I use the tanning liquid in ultra dark. I also have the dark one. Also, another tanning tip for you guys. I feel like I should make this its whole video, but this other tanning tip, tip for you is to exfoliate before you tan, but shave after. And I know that sounds so wrong with everything we've been taught, but trust me, I've been doing it and it just makes your tan look so smooth. Okay, so I have to go to bed, honestly. It's past my bedtime. And then tomorrow we have to be up, we, me and you. <laughs> tomorrow I have to be up really early. Also, last thing I wanna talk about is the Colgate Optic White Overnight Pen. This, I actually, I don't know if you're supposed to do this, but I have a retainer that um, I got after I got Invisalign, which I started wearing again, because I have a permanent retainer, but I think I noticed like this tooth start moving. It This one has been working pretty good, and if you have a, a retainer, just pop some on, throw your retainer on, and it's like an at-home whitening treatment. Okay, I have to go to bed, because I will sit here and I will talk all night long. Good morning, okay, so it's notary day. I'm not putting makeup on just because I really could not be bothered. And of course, last night there was a huge snowstorm. I have to drive into the city for this notary appointment and I'm just panicking because it really scares me driving when there's like so much snow just because like I know I drive carefully but I don't trust that other people are also driving carefully. <laughs> um, but this is what I'm wearing, super basic, simple outfit. This is a, I'll take it off, a black long sleeve shirt from Aritzia from Babaton. I am obsessed with it. These are just some regular Lululemon leggings. And then for my boots, I threw on these boots from ASOS because there was such a big snowstorm. I wanted something higher because in case I had to walk through snow. I love that they're chunky at the bottom, but also not like too chunky and too clunky. And then my jacket is a little cropped jacket from Princess Polly. So it's just an all black outfit. Um, honestly, when I have to get dressed really quickly, and especially when I'm not wearing makeup and I want to look put together, I just put on an all black outfit. There's something about wearing all black that makes you look put together. Let me know if you guys also do this, but when I was picking my perfume out today, I was like, which perfume do I want to associate with the memory of buying my first house? I don't know how to explain it. This may make me sound like a psycho, but I just like pick whichever one I feel the most connected to. Like whichever one like speaks to me like every day a different perfume speaks to me I don't know. I can't explain it and I went with an oldie but a goodie Elizabeth and James Nirvana black because it makes me feel really warm and fuzzy and happy A lot of you guys said don't brush your teeth after your coffee. Why? Oh, yes, I'm a mess with my missing nails. Oh, I'm just a mess. Okay <laughs> I just thought of something that I want to try so for Christmas, as you guys know, I have been using my Aroma 360 diffuser right there. Don't mind this big mess behind me, but I've been using that diffuser, which is like $300 for a while now. I love it. It's just really expensive. But it got me thinking, couldn't you just put it in a regular diffuser? Like, couldn't you just put the oil in a regular diffuser? I know that's a cold diffuser, so you don't have to dilute the oils before you diffuse it but for christmas i got a diffuser i actually got two diffusers <laughs> my sister and my best friend both got me um diffusers so if this works i'm putting them all throughout my house but they got me it's so funny they both got me the exact same diffuser it's the sage aroma free cordless and rechargeable diffuser and what's amazing about this is that you don't it doesn't have to be plugged in for it to be working and that's always like you know, a headache. You could literally put it whatever, and it's cute. It's just black, it goes with my home, you could stick it in a corner. The only oil I have is this one left, so I need to um, order some more, but I did find a seller on Amazon that is apparently like very similar to this. This one is called Nirvana, and this one I believe is supposed to smell like the Shangri-La Shangri Hotel. It smells so good. So I'm just gonna add a little bit to this water. And let's see if it's charged. This is gonna be a game changer, you guys, if this works. I mean, I don't see why it wouldn't. 
Oh, it's diffusing. Let's see if it smells. It smells. Okay, it smells exactly the same as when it comes out of there. Okay, so you don't need to spend $300. I'm, I don't know if there's any difference. I guess it's like a lot less potent because it's diluted in water, but you still get that smell. And in case you're wondering or worried, these oils and the ones I'll link down below on Amazon, I just ordered some, so I will let you guys know how they smell when they come in. They are pet safe. I don't know why I didn't think to do that before. I guess just because I didn't have a diffuser and now I have about 20. Okay, so it's been a few minutes and it really is taking over my house, the smell. I, I feel like a little bit like an idiot for not thinking about this sooner. I just painted my nails. I did like a French, I've been doing like a short French manicure just because it's easier with my nails and it's just faster than adding tips and everything. But I think now I'm gonna head over to my new house. I wanna bring over some um, of the new stuff I got. I don't really need to. I probably, <laughs> I don't really need to, but it's the first day that the house is actually mine in my name. It's my house and I want to put something in the cupboards. Okay, so the first thing I'm putting in my cupboard, which Ali pointed out are very high up. <laughs> let me, <laughs> let me you and then okay. first deal. So like normally I feel like they're probably to here. Yeah. But these are like, I almost can't even reach it. Even the shortest one. Even the shortest one, I almost can't even reach. But these are my plates that I got from CB2. <gasps> and Allie made a good point of saying I could put them in the drawer. When you're getting the stuff for the table, you can get the cut, the plate, yeah. and then you can get the cutlery. Over here, we were thinking like spices, and maybe I need to put the cooking tools somewhere. So maybe cooking tools in here. And I'm not gonna be like our mom who jammed it. All, we had so many cupboards and everything was- And we're unlearning the habits. Yeah, Ali and I had to unlearn the habits from our, our mom. Our sweet mother. Our sweet mother who was a hoarder, still is <laughs> a hoarder. A few things we have to do today. We have to go to, oh, hello, Leo. Hello. We have to go to Linen Chest. Then we have to go, what else did we have to go, Nick? There was a whole long Home list. Depot. Home Depot. Oh, we have to buy the lock for my door. She's busy. She's booked. Mm -hmm. I'm busy and booked. <laughs> okay, so we just dropped off um, the packages at Chit Chats. We shipped through Chit Chats because it is way more affordable um, for us and for you to sh for us to ship. And now we are headed over to grab some coffee at Starbucks. Nicole needs gas and windshield wiper fluid. And I actually might buy a bottle too because I have no windshield wiper fluid. Um, then we're gonna hit up the mall and hit up Linen Chest to see what they have because they have a beautiful new store in the Fairview Shopping Mall. Actually the whole shopping center was like renovated. I don't really know what I have to pick up yet. I, I'm just gonna see what they have there because I already got my dishes and cups and everything. So if anything like either other kitchen utensils or bathroom stuff, I don't know. We'll see. They have pretty much everything. Your driving scares me. Well, like there's a convoy. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm trying to get over here, but there's, there's a protest. <laughs> there is a protest for the freedom convoy. Oh, see? Two lonely people. I don't know if you were able to see that, but at certain other overpasses, they were filled. I don't know if you guys can see. We're gonna, oh, there's we're a gonna police pass there. Open, there was. They were filled. Oh my god! You can see all of the people, like even waiting here. Oh my goodness! The police. Wow, that's wild. I honestly didn't think that we'd see that. But we're on the route. Like this is the, the Yeah, this road. is the way to get to Ottawa. Just like old time, we are at Starbucks. But this time we're in negative forty degrees. Thank you. Her name was Peace. I love that. I wish you were more peaceful with me. Are you joking? 
And she literally whacked me across the head. Honestly, I did it, but I was thinking about it. Just because I have energy? No, it was it was it was not the energy. It was that we have a nice long list of places to go. And Tony's like, I'm just gonna put foundation on and comes out an hour later. I think he told me to go get ready. And then she told me I had to work on Shopify. And I didn't then say she that. yelled at me when I was working on Shopify and said we have we have to leave. <laughs> no. Actually, what happened was I worked on Shopify. Well, I thought you were getting ready for 10 minutes because you she got up and that goes, was 10 minutes. No, no, no. You got up and said, mm, I'm not going to get ready today. And then went into the bathroom and did full glam. It's not full glam. And then it's it's three quarters glam. And then <laughs> <laughs> and then and then I was working on Shopify, but I couldn't figure something out. I did 90% of it, but I was like, I need you to fix this. Blah, 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 blah. And That's then, exactly what but when said. Tony's like working on Shopify, she's also scrolling through Instagram and she's also on the TikTok. You she's are a liar. I'm for sure making a video, by the way, all about that process of buying a house because it's just so confusing. Like, welcome tax, all these different taxes you have to pay, getting a mortgage, the notary. It's just so much that you're not taught in school that I just want to break it down I also want to do that about other things like things that I just think are so important I don't know like investing or like other topics that are just useful That no one talks about and when you start looking into it It's just so overwhelming and if only I had someone to be like you need to go get pre-approved You need to go in order to get pre-approved you need to have this these documents like I wish there was just one person and there probably is so if you know of them leave them like down below but I wish there was just one person who could just tell me everything. You know how much I love this. Look at all the stuff they have for pantry. But like I just don't know if I'll ever be the, that organized, you know? What is this? Did you make that? This is really pretty. Where's the Eva? Oh. Should I get it? Yeah. But do you leave really butter on your counter? You're my mom to. always left butter on like my counter. You're supposed to. It's easier. I really like this. Okay, so I just have my plates already, even though like they have beautiful things here. Um, I do, however, need serving dishes and like serving plates. I have no bowls. I have no salad bowls. So, oh look, salad bowl with server. Look, and the server stick on the side of the bowl. I really want a chopper. Okay, this is so cool. You can slide a plate under it when you're chopping, and then you just move it all to the plate. That's gonna look dirty, really nice. They have a bunch of reusable bags, which are very useful. Okay, so I found a lot of good things. Bowls, this thing for my famous Italian dressing. And a little juicer. Smoked apple and salt, yeah. this blanket, and a rug, well, it's a, single, a pan. Single glass. This sounds some really good stuff, so now it's time to check out because I've not all spent too much money. So we're at Winners now, and I found a bunch of these wood, wood frames. Um, just to put in different rooms. I love mixed match wood. Now we're looking at lights. I love these little tables. Okay, so I got home and I couldn't wait. I had to style this little table. I am in love with it, especially for the price. And I love how the wood looks, the color of the wood. It's just a delicious table. And then when I got home, I showed my mom everything I got at Linen Chest and Winners. So I'll show you guys everything I picked up. In my little air fryer, we're cooking up these crispy wontons which are like i guess kind of like rangoons minus the crab plus jalapeno so we're cooking that up we're waiting on our pizza and our caesar salad to arrive we have a favorite um, pizza restaurant that my sister actually introduced us to and they make the best Caesar salad and we have it at like once or twice a week So we're waiting for that to arrive. Okay, so the food just came We have a lot of Caesar salad and then our pizza. Oof. Okay. It looks good <laughs> Very few things make me as happy as pizza. I'm going to Ikea today with Nicole. I know going to Ikea on a Saturday is probably not a good idea, but I really want to go. <laughs> I want to pick up 
bowls and just some stuff from my kitchen. So we made it to Ikea. Oh, there's a spot right there. We're five steps <laughs> um, I was worried there was going to be a line, but I didn't see one. So I think we're good. I'm ready for my front entrance. Like, looks like pretty outdoorsy. So for their closet, it seems like they have new like shaker doors. I think like for it's really pretty for anyone but for like a man's closet. Or like an entryway. Or like an entryway. Look, they have like a cast iron pot. This kitchen is actually really nice. Look at the stove. This whole area. Look at this light. I love this light. Um, but this couch is also really. Pretty and it's comfortable. It's a comfortable couch. Oh, this reminds me of Ali's dining table, a little bit different, but like you would never know that my sister's dining table is from IKEA. This is beautiful. I love the color of it. It's like um mixed with this like goldy brass. Very, very look, they even have like this green, but this is this is stunning. Even this is pretty. This is stunning. And it's the price. The price is right. Nikki, this looks expensive. So now we're looking at hardware. I ordered from on Amazon, but they have so many nice options. Because I don't know if I want to switch my kitchen hardware to gold or keep it black. So when that arrives, we'll figure that out together. But even for knobs and stuff, they have so many cute, affordable things. Look how pretty this is. Tell me that this is oh my god, look at the price. You can't really see the green, but it's like the prettiest, the like, prettiest green. I bet they have it in other colors too. All these sconces are really pretty. They're $29.99. That's crazy. <laughs> what is it? It's a cheese and oh, I love this one. It's retractable, saves space. So these cloths are 79 cents and they're perfect for just grabbing and drying things off. You don't like them? I like them. I just don't know what you're going to put in them. I could make you a bowl of cereal. <laughs> Dips. Hummus. So I'm getting these to just have good mixing bowls and then these for salad or pasta, anything. Success. It was very successful. We're on a date at Marathons. We have garlic bread, kopanisti, and tzatziki. Their garlic bread is the best. This really is what heaven looks like. And Nikki got a chicken stick. Oh, it it looks a bit broken on the top. I wanted to do a little unboxing, you guys. I haven't done an unboxing on here in a while, but I'm going to Miami on um, the 17th for a little weekend getaway. And I was shopping. I went to buy Nikki's Christmas present because I know. <laughs> Christmas present in February. I went to go buy it in December and they didn't have it. And then I went back yesterday or two days ago and they had it. So I got it for her. I got her this. It's um, a little Louis Vuitton um, wallet. It's the same wallet as mine. It's my favorite thing ever and she absolutely loved it. And I, um, I love it. Honestly, that one's really beautiful. So I went there to get her her gift. And then I stopped in. I was looking for shoes for my trip because I have a lot of... I'm packing in a carry-on and um, so my my space is very limited. I have to like bring maybe max three pairs of shoes, including the ones I, I wear on the plane. Um, and I wanted a cute pair of flats that I could kind of wear as my like dressier shoes. Definitely the black. I love those. I like those two tones. I like the black also. Where are you gonna wear those? Your birthday party. <laughs> yeah, no, this I can't. It, it really like you can see here where it digs in. What's the verdict? None of them. I'm like I love. I 
I have so many pairs of shoes. I definitely did not need another pair of shoes, but I was walking through and I really wanted to see if Hermes had their sandals, their classic sandals, which they never have, especially at the um, boutique in Montreal. They have nothing. They literally have nothing. But I was strolling by and I saw that they had all of their sandals. I was so delighted. The woman working there was so nice. I went in and I bought myself a little gift. I should not be spending this money. I, I'm After this, I'm literally on the biggest no buy after buying a house and all of the expenses that come with the house. Like, I'm on a no buy, no buy, no buy, no buy. After this, this was the last thing I splurged on. I felt like I almost couldn't pass them up because I've tried to get these so many times and I'm so happy I went to the store and tried it on because the sizing is so off. I was debating between the black and the gold color. Their gold is like a camely brown, it's a beautiful. Um, but they didn't have the black ones, so it kind of made that decision for me. And then they also had the white ones. They had them in orange, hot pink, and a few other ones. So, mm, so this is my first Hermes purchase from the boutique and it is it's an experience let me just tell you that so oh, I almost don't want to unwrap it you know it's so beautiful I'm just really excited because there I know I'm gonna get a ton of wear to these I bought my um, Dior slides four years ago now and I wear them all the time they're like falling apart I know slides I get a ton of wear out of so I was, I didn't feel like guilty buying these because I know I'm going to get a ton of wear out of them. <gasps> and look at them. So, oh, they are just the most delicious brown. You already know this, these are going to go with everything in my wardrobe. I sized up a full size for these. I ended up getting a size 37. I tried on the 36 and a half. They didn't have a 36, but the 36 and a half was so small. So I sized up a full size in these, which when I was gonna order online, I was gonna size half a size down because that's what I did in my other slides. Just a good classic slide. So I'm excited to have these for my trip, but now I'm gonna have a coffee um, and I'm going to start editing and edit probably the entire night because I have about 10 videos to edit.